guys, it's Dee. I am back with another haul video for you guys. I have some things to craft with, some things to resell, and um, some things to add to my collection. So I went to this sale Friday, I believe, and um, it was the first day, and I didn't get there at opening um, because I didn't see you know, anything that I really wanted, but I'm glad I went anyway because I found some fun things. So let's get started. So the first thing is I found a couple of bag bags of these um, hair curlers. So there's two bags, and they were a dollar each. And I wanted to use this to possibly um, make some figurines. I've seen people um, use them to, you know, like to make them into body parts, like maybe the taller one would be the body and then you would add arms and legs and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that, but I've seen it done before and I thought maybe I could give it a go, especially since it was a dollar for each bag and there's plenty to try. So those, those were the two bags. And then also in the bathroom, there was this um, opium scented powder, dusting powder. It was only a dollar. Um, there's, it's still quite full. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the scent, but I thought uh, I could possibly try to resell it. I don't know if people still use them. Um, and then I think this person might have been a teacher or a homeschooler because she had a ton of like teaching type stuff. Um, they were all newer, but I found these two packs here. Oops. So we have hearts and then this one is just flashcards. I will, I'm sure you guys have seen those before, but I will show you the images. That's a fun one there. Here's a cat and a star. Let's see what else do we have. The chicken and a heart. So those are some um, fun images and it is Whitman. And then the other one is just, it says alphabet recognition. I'll see if I can pull out some to show you the images. So this is the jam. What else do we have? We have an apple. So these are not very old, but I still thought it was fun to find them. And um, if I don't end up crafting with them, then I may just use them with the kits that I work with. So I wonder if this at year, yes, it says 1974 edu cards right here. So that's that. Oh, and I also found this bottle of glitter and it has an older Target tag on there. So I have a small collection of these um, vintage glitter, so I was happy to find that. It does have a date, so it's in 1976. We also have these um, St. Patrick's Day napkins. Um, let's see, oh, the company is Ambassador. This is what the back looks like. It was 25 cents, still new in the package. Um, if I bought this to resell, but if it doesn't, I'll be happy to keep them. Um, and then I have this small notebook and I just like this marbling design on the front and I, it's just a regular ruled notebook there. All right, let's see, what else do we have? So I have about this mason jar and I like to get these to store my bits and bobs in, but I got this because I saw a recipe on Instagram to make her name is Keto Chicks. If I remember, I'll leave it down below. And she makes a lot of like low carb keto recipes. And it was um, keto ice cream. So you just put all the ingredients in here and you shake it up and then you freeze it. And um, it's supposed to work. So um, I'm hoping to try that. I picked up an ice cream maker at Goodwill a few months ago and um, it looked pretty new. It looked like it hadn't been used. And then I, it was one of those that had the, the insert and then you have to freeze the insert, put it in, and then it's supposed to, the machine churns it, but it never solidified. So it was kind of a waste. So maybe I'll try this hand method. And then I, there I found this other one. This one says got milk. Um, 
I don't know if um, this will resell or not. If it doesn't, I'll be happy to keep it and store things in it. Next, we have this Easter eggs. And I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Um, it has made in Germany on the inside. And I have a small collection of these, so these this will be going to my collection. And I picked up a sheet set. I typically don't pick up sheets because, um, I don't know, I just don't ever find one that I, ones that I really like. But then I found this pattern. And so I was pretty happy with this one. I don't know, I was gonna say carnation, but maybe not, I don't know. Um, let's see if I can give you guys a name here. So it says JP Stevens and Co. That's what the tag looks like. Um, never heard of, but I look, looked it over and it was in good condition. So I was happy to find that. And then I found this um, embroidery thread set. So look at all this thread. I have sold this um, before on eBay. They seem to do well. This has quite a bit in it. So like it has pages of it in here. So I think this would be a good item to resell. What else do I have? I picked up this funky looking tie to resell. Um, I don't know what kind of fish it is, but it is a tie and let's see, Ralph Marlin, made in the USA. That's what the tag is. And um, he has a funny looking face there. So it says it's a large mouth bass and it's 1986. So I bought that to resell. And then I also picked up a jacket for myself um let's see so this is the jacket here i'll show you guys the print and it is jillian and nicole right there and um it was three dollars looked in pretty good condition um obviously not for our 90 degree summers here but once it gets cooler i think i might enjoy wearing that um and then I have a couple of boxes. This is a soap box. It says lavender soap. I like picking up these boxes to store my things in or just to craft with. So that's that. And then I have one more box here. It is um, a, one of those uh, candle, taper candle catcher things. Um, I'm sure they have a name for them, but Bo, there we go, Bo Besh. Probably not saying that correctly, but I really like that color on that box and that box, but they, they didn't have those in there. It's just an empty box, um, but I was happy to find that box. And then, oh, this is just a home thing. Um, we have a ton of business cards that I don't, you know, I can't ever keep up with, but I thought, this might be a way to help me keep up with them. So I got this booklet meant for cards, um, business cards. So I think I'm going to try to use it and gather all the cards that I have and stick them in here. Or if that doesn't happen. I was thinking actually that I have some of these um, Christmas tags. I thought that might be fun to display them. Okay, this, this one barely fits. I'm kind of having to squeeze it in here. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, it's not going in. Um, so maybe it's not big enough. So I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I know that people pro don't even think about these books anymore these days. Let's see, I think, oh, I have one more thing here. This is the last thing. It is a perfume bottle. How pretty is that? And um, this was in the bathroom area. And I 
don't have very many vintage ones. I have the perfume bottles that I use, but I've been wanting to get a couple just to display and I thought this was a good one to get. Um, I don't know if I'm starting a new collection, but um, I was happy to find that. And I think that is the last thing for the haul. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you did. Um, next week, I know Nicole Nesting Haven is hosting Thriftmas, Thriftmas in July. And I have, I've been saving the Christmas things that I've been getting the past couple months or maybe the past month. So I'll have a couple of thrift haul videos hopefully, and I'm trying to get together maybe some crafting, Christmas crafting videos as well. We'll see if I can manage that this week. Um, but other than that, that is it. Um, at the end of this, I did just a tiny bit of 4th of July decorating. Um, I will see if I can send you guys some, or I'll add some pictures at the end of this so that you guys can catch that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.